Hello everyone, so today I am bringing you another book video, even though I actually wanted to talk about something else. I decided to do a September wrap-up and October TBR, even though last month I said I wouldn't do this a monthly thing. I actually really liked the video and I thought I could do it again this month so that I can share some great books with you and also like kind of motivate myself to read a lot of the books next month, you know, even though this time I didn't read pretty much any of the books that I said I would read. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump right into it! So, first book I read in September is Milk and Honey by Ruby Cower, which is just a collection of poetry. I was kind of disappointed because everyone on Goodreads was saying how great it was but I didn't really like it as much, but I definitely, like, I'm not discouraged to not read any, like, poetry anymore, because I, I said in the last video that I really wanted to get into poetry, so even though I didn't really like this, I still want to keep reading poetry. I actually want to find one that I really enjoy, you know? And it's not that I hated this, it's just that I have actually very mixed feelings about it, but I definitely didn't love it, and I didn't even, like, like it that much. I, I don't really know, but... Another one I read is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I think it's a new adult contemporary romance and I don't know, I'm not gonna tell you anything about it. It's just the guy loves poetry and the girl just moved into a new town after losing her, her father. They're neighbors, they fall in love. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna tell ya. Mm, yeah, the rest would be spoilers, but just read this. It's wonderful, it's beautiful. Her books are just so beautiful and intense and heartbreaking, but just so amazing, and yeah, you just definitely should check this out! Another book I read this month is Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. This, like I said in the last video, I actually had it on my TBR list and I read it just like Milk and Honey, which is at least something, you know, and yeah, it has a lot of pictures and I read it in like an hour and yeah, it's really quick and it's really good. I think that if you don't draw nor write, it might not be for you because even though he says 10 things nobody told you about being creative, like creativity isn't just for artists, you know, but at the same time, this book is probably not... Like, you can check it out, of course, but if you're not a writer nor like you don't draw either, might not be completely for you because he really focuses on writing and drawing and stuff like that so really motivated me it's really nice and just i really liked i really liked it another book that i thought i would never read is the lover's dictionary by david levithan and the reason i read this is because steal like an artist and milk and honey are books that are super quick and i read them super fast which made me like want to read only short books and this is super short and it's like not a normal book but it's it's a dictionary so that means he has a word in every page and he talks about something that's related to to the word and that's how he tells the story and it's like a romance but it's really interesting because he doesn't tell you everything so sometimes you have to like read between the lines and stuff it's I didn't completely adore it, I wasn't obsessed with it, but I really liked it and it's really special and different. If you want to check out an interesting romance that's really fast to read, definitely suggest this, it's really cool. Another book that I read by him is Every Day, and again, a contemporary romance, super interesting and extraordinary. It's like, so cool, I mean like, I loved this. It's about a genderless person who wakes up in a different body every single day. That genderless person falls in love with a girl. That's, you know, being in love is kind of complicated when you wake up in a different body every single day. So, yeah, it's super cool. I loved the idea and I was not disappointed by this book. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Another book that's also by Colleen Hoover, because she's totally awesome and I need to read all of her books, is It Ends With Us. And, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Again, it's a contemporary romance, but this one I think is just, it's so intense, it's completely heartbreaking, and it's just so beautiful and so sad, but just so amazing and awesome and just, oh my god. I loved this, I cried, I smiled, <laughs> I loved it. I just loved it so much, and the cover is so beautiful, 
and the book is just the correct I loved the characters I loved the plot I loved literally everything about it just her books are so awesome yeah this one is just so good give it a shot because there's a huge possibility that you will love it just like the rest of us and the last but not least Girl Up by Laura Bates I loved it man oh my gosh and actually, a funny story, when I was in the bookstore, I was looking at this book, and I had heard of it before, so I was, like, looking for it, and I wanted to find it and buy it. But still, I was like, I had bought some books before, and I was like, well, it's kind of expensive, I'm not sure if I should buy it, and I want other books. But then there was a girl standing by, and she she saw me looking at the book, and she said, she just said something like, it's totally awesome, you should definitely buy it, and yeah, so I did, and... That moment was just so cool and like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I definitely loved this book. It's just about feminism mainly. But it focuses on a lot of TMI topics and just taboos that we never talk about. And I love that and I'm a fan of talking about everything. I think that talking about stuff makes it much better and not talking about it makes everything only worse. So, yeah, I just loved this book and yeah, like... It's like really TMI and you might be a little embarrassed by it at first if you are not comfortable with talking about topics like sex and stuff like that, but it's really worth reading and you should not be embarrassed because just those things that she talks about are just life, so yeah, whatever. Definitely check this out, it's awesome, it's nonfiction, yeah, and it's just, it's really awesome. So yeah, now moving on to the TBR for October. I hope that will be more successful than the last one, because it's not that I didn't read that many books, but I should have read much more, because I'm still 18 books behind schedule on Goodreads, which is absolutely horrible. So, the, the book that I'm reading already is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, and yeah, it's still September right now. It's like September 26th. But I might be finishing this when it's still September, but you know, who cares? I'm just gonna be reading this. And I've read like, I've read 48 pages, and it's so good. It's nonfiction, it's about creativity, loving it. I, it's so good. It's just, it's so amazing. It's Another book is Ensnared, which is the last book in the Splintered trilogy. It's a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. And yeah, it's the last book in the trilogy, and I might as well finish reading it. Vanished and Hidden by Sophie Jordan, which are the sequels to Firelight. Um, yeah, I read Firelight, I really liked it. I really want to read those two this month, because they're it, her writing style is really easy to read, and it's really nice. I don't know, it's nothing like too hard to read. It's like the like chill out story, but it's fantasy and has some action in it nonetheless. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So. Then another book that I'm not sure I'm gonna read because I've been reading a lot of nonfiction lately and I'm like, I want to break from it a little bit, but it is Yes Please by Amy Poehler, which is a memoir that she wrote. <laughs> and I actually read a hundred pages, which I definitely mentioned in the last CBR, but I didn't read it this month. So I'm gonna put it here again. But it's like, I don't know, it's like not necessary for me to finish reading it, but I would like to, because like, I really enjoyed what I read so far, so. Then a book that I'm super excited to read is On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher, and I love her YouTube videos. I'm gonna link her channel down below, because she's absolutely amazing, and I'm totes stoked to read one of her books. It looks amazing, it's like a love story like no other, and basically it's about a girl who dies when from old age, I think, and she wakes up as her young self, and then I don't know anything else, but it looks really cool, and I love her, and I think that she must be a really great writer, and I mean, I can't know, but I'm super excited to read it, plus the cover looks completely like fall, so gotta put it in here. Again, Love Rosie by Cecilia Ahern. I'm gonna read it this month. If I don't, I'm gonna keep putting it in my TB art until I read it. Yeah, I just have to finish it. I mean, come on. I've had it for ages and I need to finish reading it. And then last but not least is Daring Greatly by Brene Brown, which is again a nonfiction. Again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna read it. And yeah, 
But here they wrote how the courage to be vulnerable transforms the way we live, love, parent, and lead. And just looks really great. I love like the motivational kind of books. Just nonfiction. I really like it and I want to get more into nonfiction. But I've read like so many nonfiction books lately that I'm like, I need a break. And yeah. So yeah, but I really want to read it. So maybe I will get to it this month. And actually, I talked about reading Percy Jackson this month. And I said I wanted to read at least one of the books in the series. And I really want to read it. Like, I'm so excited to read it. But I have it on my Kindle. And I, I don't have it in the physical form. And, I mean, I have the Kindle. So I might as well read books on it. But just, I just... It's so horrible. I love reading books. Like, I love just holding them and showing them on camera and just like, yeah, just books are the best. And I need to hold the book, you know? And it's just like the Kindle annoys the heck out of me. But still, like, I'm gonna read it on it, but pfft, I don't know. But like, I'm not sure if I should put it on the TBR. I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna read it, <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna put it on this month's TBR, I'm gonna put it maybe next month, but anyway, yeah, so that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know if you want me to make another one next month, because I really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, have a wonderful day, and see you in the next one, bye!